hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are brand new here today is the third day of my dupe series and today i'm going to be sharing with you an eye look duping the subculture palette from anastasia beverly hills so again just like yesterday i do have the original palette and today again is slightly different um, i'm trying to change it up daily for you and this time i've applied the subculture palette on this eye and i'm really excited about this because i'm using shades that i haven't actually used before in a look i usually go for so i'll just show you around the subculture palette so it looks like this this is actually my second palette the first one um i tried using the shades are they called yeah cube and electric and for whatever reason in my palette i had a bit of a reaction so i repurchased it over the last month or so um, because I'd heard that it had been reformulated I wanted to try it out and it has in fact as soon as I opened the palette up I noticed that electric was totally different it was more of a cream formula now it's like a regular eyeshadow and yeah I absolutely love that that is my favorite shade from the palette then you have this shade cube in fact I love the whole color story to this palette it is something that I think is so different um so well, it's a, just a standalone palette um, so I've repurchased it and I've been using it and I love it now because they've changed the formula slightly with this one um, I'm not sure about cube this is the first time I've used this one but definitely electric and I definitely used it without any issues now I've already applied this palette to my eye and what I'm going to do is when I apply this palette which I'll talk about in a moment I will then go through the shades that I've actually used so I've just moved the subculture palette over here and move on to the palette that I'm going to recreate this look with on this eye and the palette is the revolution reloaded iconic division palette so just like yesterday's just like Monday's it is a four pound palette so it looks like this absolutely beautiful and it would have been so so easy for me to gravitate to these uh, shades in each palette because I love it so so much but I thought I'm going to have to do something slightly different today I've done looks using those before on my channel and I wanted to do something different so these are the palettes side by side you can see the similarities there again it's a very grungy palette let me just pop that subculture down this again is a very grungy palette it's something totally different totally new and i can't wait to recreate the look so let's get on with the look um so the first shade that i went in with was roxy so it's that orange vibrant shade here a lot of people seem to have um, issues with that originally yes the palette is still a little bit dusty it kicks up but to be honest it doesn't worry me all of my other Anastasia Beverly Hills palette kick up some kind of um, you know shadow so that's fine what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this shade from the iconic division palette so as always, I'm using my Primark PSI contour brush. So I'm just going to pop that in. And to be honest, when, when I put my brush into these powders, they have, I hope you can see that, they have the, the same kick up as the Anastasia palette. So it's four pounds again versus 43 pounds. And again, the links will be down below for you. So let's apply this. As always, I've put the Revolution Pro Eye Elements um, Eye Base in Core, already primed my eye, ready to go. So I'm just going to do what I usually do, and that is to apply it in the crease and then take it up. So this is going to be my base shade, my transitional shade, however you would like to call that. 
and then I'm just blending it up. I knew I wanted to do something slightly different because I think we've seen that electric shade before, haven't we? We've seen the green eyed look and you know, I just wanted to come out with something a little bit different. So I'm just building this shade up. Like I said yesterday, I always build the shade up. I do tend to find that with the eye base on, it does tend to, um, the shadow tends to soak into and be absorbed a little bit by the eye base. So that's why I build it up. So that's the eye base on. Now, um, in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I went in with the shade All Star, which is that beautiful aubergine shade there. And from the Iconic Division palette, it is this one here. So I'm just going to start applying that and see how that works out. Again, it's very, very powdery. Kicks up a little bit, but I'm used to that anyway with the Revolution palettes they all do that I mean at the end of the day they're all powders so as always I am just blending it in keeping it into the crease but I'm taking it up um, but not as high as the first look because what I don't want to do is take that first shade you know cover it up completely So you can still see some of that shade. Um, like that. Now what I did was I went in with um, just what I had remaining on the brush. I always try to prime the lower lash line because I tend to find that, you know, the next shades over the top of that will work a lot better and um, apply a little bit more smoothly. So I'm just going to run that underneath. And I must admit that even though this eye look is very, very effective, it um, it's a very, very easy look. like that. Now what I'm going to do is go in with the um, aubergine shade from the Iconic Division palette and I'm just going to run that underneath the lash line like that. Then I'm going into the very first shade, that peachy shade and I'm just going to run that underneath that shade and blend it out like that and just making sure that they look the same perfect okay so that's the base laid down now what i'm going to do is just swap over to a flat brush so it's a flat brush it's just one of the inexpensive brushes from primark it's very very slim but it's also quite long as well and i think it's going to work really well so first of all actually i'm going to do exactly what i did on the other eye the shade that i'm now going in with is this one here now just like cube it looks white but um on contact with you know like when you swatch it or on your eye it then reflects pink exactly the same as um, the shade cube so I'm going to just apply it using a finger first so I'm just going to apply that first using a finger just like I did so I want to try and emulate exactly what I did on there I'm just going to get a little bit more but I have actually used shades like this um, there is another palette I'm sure that had this shade in and I find it quite difficult from Revolution um, to actually 
cry, but it, it's going on okay, but there's a few like chunks, but it is going on okay. Now I'm swapping over to the brush and I'm just going to get a little bit of that. But as usual, I'm finding the same thing is happening with the pan. It's actually going on better with the brush. I'm just going to show you what has happened because what it does is it it's like um very similar to the original cream formula from um or within the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette cube. Um it is like some sort of cream to powder or cream powder. It's a little bit of a hybrid um, and it tends to chunk up a little bit. But remember the palette is four pounds. So, um, and it does apply okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just revert back to my original brush and I'm getting more of that beautiful aubergine shade and I'm now just putting it on the outer V. like that, just building that up. And then I'm going back in with the other brush and then I'm just going to pop that pink shade or that hybrid shade just around the inner corner. just going to get my Primark brush again and just blend it in there and that is the eye look complete I'm now just going to add the Revolution HD smoky waterproof eyeliner in black like that I'm also going to add my Primark PS Amplified Mascara, also in black. Like that. I'm then going to remove these pink bunny ears. sort my hair out and that is basically the eye look so this is the revolution iconic division palette four pounds this is the anastasia i'll shut them both i find it difficult to wink with one eye um the left eye so this is the anastasia beverly hills and that is the subculture palette so there's both eyes for you i would absolutely love your thoughts to me they look near enough spot on the only difference that i can find is the um this shade the pink shade on the lid is slightly just slightly not quite as smooth as cube on this side but apart from that I think it's very very good and four pounds versus 43 pounds absolutely fantastic quality and yeah really really love your thoughts on that um, I'm loving your comments um, also, the lipstick that I am wearing is from Morphe. It is the liquid lipstick in Virgin, which I absolutely love. Um, very daytime appropriate. I thought I would go neutral today. Um, yeah, that's what I thought I would do today. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope you're loving this series. Like I say, all feedback, most, most welcome. I would love your thoughts on both of these palettes. Um, love your thought on the eye look. And of course, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. But as always, until tomorrow, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.